In our second video, we're going to um, graph the given hyperbola and find the following. So we're going to graph it. But you'll notice it's not written in the form where everything is easy to find. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and complete the square. We've done this practice, we've done this process in, in the other comics. Um, we're going to go ahead and do it now. Just make sure we, we're familiar with it with hyperbolas. Okay, so if I factor out the 9... I like to add a box, um, and then I can factor out a negative 60. Oh, hang on. I want to do that in a different color. I'm going to factor out a negative 16 from the y squared. That becomes a positive 2y, plus I use a triangle so that I remember to do something different. And this is going to equal, I'm sorry, the screen isn't wide enough, uh, 24 plus don't forget, it's not just plus a box, it's plus 9 times the box, and then it's minus 16 times the triangle. Oop, okay. So this one factors down. This is 9 times x minus 2 squared. 2 squared goes up, makes a 4 go into my box. Um, and then this is minus 16 times y plus 1 squared. My triangle is a 1. And now I have 36 minus 16 is 20. Oh, lovely. So 124 plus 20 is equal to 144. And sure enough, when I divide everybody by 144, things work out pretty nicely. Um, so, because I my goal was to get this to become a 1. So I'm at x minus, let's see if I can remember this. Okay, so here is... Um, We've rearranged, we've um, rewritten our equation into the standard form, the way that it's easy to, to work with a hyperbola. And this one is going to, because the x comes first, it's going to open left and right. Um, and the center is at positive 2, negative 1. Positive 2, negative 1, so roughly somewhere about here. Um, the vertices, so before I answer the rest of those questions, I'm going to move 4 units. That puts me to 6 and negative 2. For in my x direction, I'm going to move three units. One, two, one, two, three. That puts me at two and negative four. Okay, then I'm going to come along and find my little box. Okay. Um, this is not as easy as it looks, or sorry, whatever. Anyway, it looks terrible. Um, here come the asymptotes through those corners. Okay, and then my, um, my hyperbola. It's opening left and right. So we're doing something like that. Okay, so then the next thing, oh, the vertices would be those points here. So what is that? Um, negative 2, negative 1, and 6, negative 1. So then the foci, um, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and we may notice this 16 and 9 is equal to 25, so the c value is 5. So we just have to move 5 units from the center. We had moved 4 units before, so it's just one more beyond that. So we're here and here, so the foci would be at negative 3, negative 1, and then positive 7, negative 1. The slope of the asymptotes, I went up. What did I go up? 3 and over 4. So the slope is equal to plus or minus 3 fourths. Rise over run. Um, same idea with the equations from the previous video. If you use that point um, 2, negative 1, then you can do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I'm sorry, I ran out of space. Um, and then you could find that equation. But we're good for now. All right, hope you enjoy.